All right, we are headed out today in beautiful Southern Illinois. Um, we're headed to look at a property and then we are going to meet with Taryn Wolf. Um, she's a, a loan officer with Rule First. They do a lot of recreational loans in Southern Illinois for our clients. Um, they've got great, some great products. So uh, with the landscape and everything that's happening in the real estate business, I wanna stay on top of it so that I know what's going on. So we're gonna meet with her and then headed out to a property. Uh, it's a new listing for Chad and I and i uh, gonna meet Chad out there, uh, talk with the seller uh, about some different options as far as selling and buying. And so it uh, should be a great day to be out on the road and talking about real estate and uh, hopefully can learn a few things today that'll help benefit my clients. Looked out there one day, there's a 150 inch deer chasing the dog. Yes, right. I was watching through my bedroom. <laughs> Is that where you're talking about the deer that road comes down? Yeah, 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 John Connect. Buddy, good hey, to see you. There you go. How are you? Good. How are hey, you? Good. I'm good. good. Welcome. Yeah. Huh? This is the place <laughs> Chad was yeah. telling me the house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, today we're here on a new listing that I have. It's 142 acres with a pole barn house. And we brought Taryn in from Rural First and Justin came along. Him and I are co-listing together. But uh, Rural First is kind of more of the big acreage, the stuff that doesn't have secondary market. So I brought her along to talk to the seller and kind of tell him, you know, what we've got going on, what we're going to run into, and the type of offers that we can expect. And this is in the heart of my territory, so we felt like this was a good place to come. And um, we had a good showing here today, and this is a new listing, so we're hoping that it goes well. If they're going to make it a primary residence, we can do 15% down, all the way up to a 30-year fixed for them. Um, if they want to put more down, they can. But could run it out. anything commercial out of it? Um, Will they get in trouble for that? No, no. Okay. Once the property's theirs, there's nothing. We're not going to come back and look at anything what they're doing with okay. it. So if they wanted to run, keep running it, right? Rent it out on I the think weekend. Because she's done pretty well with it, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, done very well, and she just does very minimal. So yeah. Rural First and Whitetail Properties um, do have a formal partnership. We are a premium lender for Whitetail Properties, and the reason that came to be is because what the the, the land and the properties that they sell fit perfectly with the products that we have to offer. We specialize in rural homes, we specialize in homes on acreage, um, recreational land, and that is exactly what they sell. So it was kind of just like a match made in heaven. Write up a legal description because we will have to know exactly what they're releasing off the property. Or maybe try to sell uh, parcel that's already got a parcel yeah, ID. Yeah, and if it already has a parcel ID, that's even better. That makes it 10 it, times simpler. I would say my relationship with Justin and Chad and Whitetail in general is, um, is different than some of the other relationships I have in the fact that they they live it. I mean, they truly live it. They eat and breathe this stuff. So if I have any questions, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not hesitant to call them and ask them what's best for the customer in this situation. They do the same thing with me. If they have a question on lending, what, you know, something that they don't know maybe as much about, they, they call me. We talk on the phone at least once every week, if not multiple times a week. So I think just being comfortable with each other, we trust each other. I know they're experts in their field. I hope they know that I, you know, I'm an expert in trying to do what's best for my for my client as well. So they just go above and beyond for their customers. And again, like I had said earlier, we just, we all want the same thing. We want these, we want these people 
on these these properties and and in these homes as quickly and as as smoothly as possible all right we just finished up the day headed home and uh, had a great day met with Taryn and got a lot better understanding on what's happening in the, the finance world and how we can help clients understand what to expect uh, when they're submitting financials and they're talking about interest rates and um, you know amortization all those things so feel a lot better about that and got to spend some time on a new listing with Chad talked about some of the features of the MLS and what um, what that means as far as advertising and that so all in all great day um, headed home now and gonna hopefully uh, relax and unwind before I get back at it tomorrow <laughs>